Uh, hey, folks, welcome back to Chris White Africa and Rugby Ascendant. This is Chris coming to you live from central Pennsylvania. My guest today is Bautista Escura or Batu, uh, who is uh, signed with Rugby ATL Rugby Atlanta. He's from Buenos Aires, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, Buenos Aires. That's a long way from Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's a long way um, from Buenos Aires, uh, nine hours of, of flight. But it's it's nice to to be here in ATL. Now you've you've been uh, at this rugby for a bit there. In fact, I don't know if a lot of people know, but you uh, originally were a sevens player. You've got a lot of experience in the sevens game. Yeah, I start um, now. I start playing fifteen. Then after the under twenties, I I go with the I went to the seven one year uh, with the with the Olympics. So it was a really really good um, year and experience and then i come back to the 15 with the jaguars oh so just the one year in sevens okay that's um i think somebody gave bad information out there about your career but <laughs> but uh so that year with uh with the, the the puma sevens what was that like i mean you went to rio for the olympics that had to be something else very exciting yes very exciting also the seven is a very close group because we are only 12 players going in the tours so it's really nice to to do the traveling the training so it's a very good um, group to to be and in the seven argentina they are doing very very good uh, job so it's, it's nice to to be part of that well, uh, but the one thing about sevens, uh, for those who don't play rugby, is it's the same size field, but only seven players, not 15. So you've got to be agile and fast. The good news for you, uh, Batu, is that uh, watching you play for Rugby Atlanta, you seem to be fast and quite agile out there on the pitch. Yes, in seven, you have to be fitness. I was more skinny than I am now <laughs> because you, you have to run a lot too many times and, and too many games. Yeah, you're you're writing all the time. I mean, it's it's constant. It's it's no break there. So you you played in Argentina for a a very well known and renowned club. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced correctly, but Hindu club, uh, rugby club down there. Uh, can you tell us a little about that experience? Yes, Hindu club is is where I grew up. Is is the club who teach me um, when I have five years old to the twenties. Then I start to play more in the professional teams like sevens or uh, or jaguars but my i have a totally engaged in the club like this or i thought that i going to finish my career there is 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 more than my worst start the rugby is where where i grew up uh, playing there where i have my friends and it's a big thing for for us well, you know, you may have had a short sevens career, but it was quite successful. You earned the honor of uh, World Seven Series Rookie of the Year. That was pretty impressive. And then, of course, you went to the Olympics. So well done, the seven series. But switching back to the 15s, uh, you've played with the Jaguars uh, in um, in Super Rugby, yes? Yeah, three years. Three years. So uh, that's a question I want to ask you about. What's that like? Because when Super Rugby expanded and added a team in Japan and added a team in Argentina, uh, that suddenly made travel a lot more complicated for the Australians, the New Zealanders, and the South Africans, uh, not to mention for the Argentinians. Now they have to travel all around the world. Is does that very difficult to do playing super rugby, traveling to South Africa, then traveling all the way to Australia and New Zealand? What was it like? Yes, the truth is like it was very tough to do it, to allow the long travels, all the tours, but also for us, is the opportunity to play with big teams uh, playing a very good tournament so we are like we we love to to pass, participate of that uh, of that tournament but also we know now that i am not traveling so much like it's more short i am joining to like the life here uh, because in the super rugby we were like six months out of our house so it was very hard uh, but we enjoyed like playing that tournament. No, it, it must be quite amazing to play against the likes of uh, players from South Africa, from New Zealand, and even Australia. That's uh, I think that 
Super Rugby has its challenges, but one of the strengths is when it added the Jaguars. I think that was a good decision. And we saw very quickly, they went from uh, a, well, a being a doormat in the league initially to being a top competitor very quickly. I think it just shows the talent uh, that we find in Argentina. Argentina has done well in past World Cups. Uh, do you have any uh, ambitions or hopes to, to make the Pumas and go to a World Cup in the future? Yes, yes, it's one of my dreams. I I want to come back to play in the in the Pumas. It's, it's one of my uh, goals, uh, and also go to a World Cup. But I know that I I have to keep working, hard working, and keep uh, doing well to to uh, a future call. Well, speaking of hard work, I've been watching you play this season for Rugby ATL, and I got to say, you certainly put in the effort out there on the pitch. It's it's very clear. Uh, what's it like playing there in Atlanta? The coaching staff seems to be very committed to success. And they seem to be very level and calm, and it seems like you've got a very good team that gels. Yes, the engagement of the team is 100%. I think that the hard work and is like a cool culture of, of team. So we we build that and we try to do it if it each week to to improve ourselves. Well, my last guest, uh, uh, coach there was uh, Stephen Brett. Of course, I talked to him, and uh, he speaks a bunch of different languages. Obviously, you speak Spanish and English. Uh, do you have any other languages, or is that the two that you know? Yeah, I speak uh, Spanish, French, and a little bit of English. <laughs> I am trying to improve, but. Uh, it's better to do this interview now. I know five years, uh, five months ago, is this is not going to be good. Well, if it, if if do you speak French? <laughs> do you speak French fluently? Yeah. Oh well, then c'est c'est aucun problème parce que on peut parler en français. C'est plus facile que l'anglais. Well, pour moi, c'est plus facile parler français que que l'anglais, mais mais c'est je, je dois pratiquer les l'anglais aussi pour moi. Okay. Well, yeah, five months ago, I guess we would have had to try it in French instead of English, but <laughs> you've got the French as well. Why the French? Did you learn that growing up in school? Is that the foreign language you study? Yes, I went to a um, high, uh, high school in Argentina, who is uh, a lycée. It's a French school, so I, I learned there. Learned your French there. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, well, you listen. Uh, don't don't discount yourself. Your English is is pretty good. I speak very fast, and you're keeping up. So that's impressive. Very impressive. You've got a, a big match coming up this weekend against Rugby United New York. Um, that's going to be a challenge. You're you're riding a six game win streak. You've had some pretty amazing wins over LA. Uh, a very tight win just this past weekend over uh, Nola down in New Orleans in the brutal heat. I noticed that. The ball must have been like butter out there because a lot of people were having knock-ons. Was was the ball was it was it humid and wet and sticky or something like that? Is that why people kept having knock-ons? It seemed to be a lot of knock-ons in that game. Yes, it was a very wet uh, weather, so the the balls was very hard to to catch. But after that, I think the team can make a, a big effort to to take the win. Now in the this week we have New York. It's going to it's a very good team. They are playing well each week, and it's going to be a tough game. And we have to do our work to to take the win. No, absolutely, and of course New York, like Los Angeles, has some very big international stars on their team. You guys have a lot of talent there, and uh, I have to say that names that maybe not a lot of people in rugby around the world have heard of. Hopefully they will. Hopefully they'll hear about these names, including your own. But uh, these other teams have got some big name talent. What's it like playing against the, the players like Ben Foden and Adam Ashley Cooper and Matt Guido? Uh, these are some big names in the rugby world. Yes, it's a no no play against them. The player that you grow up seeing in when you are going when you was a child, now playing against them is is really nice. But also we take that like an opportunity to to make ourselves better and try to to pick up the, the team for the next level. Excellent. That's 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 great to hear. You take it as a challenge then. Each of these is just a challenge for you to overcome. Well, Rugby ATL is doing a pretty good job here the last six weeks or last six games, I should say. Let's uh, see how you guys do this weekend against uh, Rugby United New York. Should be interesting. And uh, I did notice that uh, I read that your older brother, Felipe, also plays rugby. Is that true? Yeah, Felipe 
Uh, he now is playing in the Jaguars, playing the Slar, the South American League, and now he's leaving to the to the tour to to June with the Pumas. Oh, excellent. That's excellent. So I'll keep an eye out to see uh, see how he performs out there as well. Listen, Nabatu, it's a, it's a pleasure to talk to you. And don't sell yourself short. Your English is pretty impressive. Uh, it'll only get better with time uh, spent there in Atlanta. But don't don't pick up that Atlanta accent. They got that Southern accent. You don't want that. You'll sound kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to do my best. All right. Well, that's uh, uh, Bautista Escura from Rugby ATL. That's Rugby Land of the Rattlers uh, in Argentina playing up here in the United States. It's a pleasure to have you up here, Batu, and thanks a lot for your time today. Thank you very much. All right. Cheers.